Don't mind me squinting, but the sun decided to come out after 84 years. I swear it's literally been raining here for like a week nonstop and the sun decided to come out today and it's just like, it's so bright. <laughs> It's weird. Anyway, uh, hey, how are y'all today? What's up? Got my, my elves back here with their shenanigans going on. I just never know what I'm going to wake up to in the mornings. Welcome to this week's grocery haul, guys. I did a Walmart grocery... No. I did Walmart grocery delivery today because I just had a lot going on today. And I just knew that that was just going to be one less thing that I would have to worry about. So... Jeff and I just got in. We went and ate lunch at our Mexican restaurant that is pretty close to our house and fixing to pick up the kiddos. So I wanted to share with you guys what all I picked up this week. Our total was 225, I think, or something like that. And Jeff and I also this morning, he's been kind of we've been running around running errands and stuff like that. We went by Walmart because this weekend is our town's Christmas parade, and Jeff is gonna be in there with his plumbing company so <laughs> we've got to decorate he's already got his van decorated we've got to decorate a trailer so we had to pick up some stuff for that and some candy and stuff to hand out and business cards and things like that so anyway let's go over the meal plan real quick shall we actually i don't really have like a set meal plan here lately it's just been kind of come up with a couple of ideas that we can put together and we'll put them together on the nights that they work so what i've got in mind is i found a white lasagna soup that i want to make one night looks really really good looks pretty easy um and let's see we're going to go out we're going to do every man from self we always do that and then the other thing we, we never did that grilled chicken with the kinder's teriyaki sauce so we're going to do grilled chicken with mashed potatoes and we have found a recipe that we really really love for air fried green beans you guys i filmed it it's gonna be coming up uh pretty soon in a what's for dinner video so stay tuned make sure your little notification is set to all so you won't miss that jeff is in love with that and y'all know jeff don't like green stuff so all right here's our haul let's go take a look and also stay tuned afterwards i got some christmas cards in my p.o box that i want to share with you guys i want to open those up with y'all so we're gonna do that all right i don't know this stuff is kind of out of order <laughs> i just left it down here whatever we've got some yogurt this was hayden's request for his lunch box and then i've got some more of this fully cooked thick cut already you know ready to go bacon we love that we've got i swear i didn't get cinnamon applesauce I re I'm pretty sure I got regular, but oh well, they'll eat it. Got cinnamon and strawberry applesauce. Got some baby spinach for the lasagna soup. Got some bananas, and I ordered purple grapes, red grapes, I don't know, what do you call them? And they just said that they were unavailable, which, okay, whatever. And then we got some bunny bread back here. We've got some kisses. These are the cherry cordial. Jeff saw these and was like, I want them. I'm going to take them. And then he saw these and they ended up in our cart too. So they're York peppermint patty snowflakes. So got a couple of goodies here. This Harrison saw this as I was placing my order last night and asked me to get those. And then we got some frosted fudge cakes. We've got some powdered mini donuts. Nuts. We've got some cocoa pebbles. I also ordered corn pops and when I went to go place my order um, It told me that they would have to be delivered. So they will be here tomorrow <laughs> Okay, that's weird, but whatever. I guess they just didn't have the big bag in that store Maybe they got to get them from another one got a bunch of candy here. I'm gonna be making little baggies Here's the little baggies that I got and they're different little designs and stuff. Um for the parade I'm gonna put a couple of pieces of candy in there and then um, one of Jeff's business cards and we're gonna hand those out and this is the candy that we got for that We got these little miniatures. We got these little miniatures. It's kind of the same same stuff in there We've got some dum-dums back there because all kids love suckers, right? And then Jeff want to get M&Ms to throw in the little baggies too So we'll be handing all that stuff out and then we got some Cheetos back here That's what I signed up to take for sister's Christmas party at school and then I bought this bag of um Doritos and Cheetos mix because last week I bought that big huge box of like 30 something bags of chips and pretty much the only thing they were interested in were these four things so I'm gonna put that in there and just add it to it and yeah 
Needed some cornstarch. I used the last little bit of cornstarch that I had here last week. So we got that. Oh, they said this was unavailable, but it's here. Okay. Well, we got some Hershey Simply Five. <laughs> I got some cookie icing. I'm trying to get my stuff together for um, our Christmas cookies. We always decorate um, on Christmas Eve um, to leave cookies for Santa. I already have some cookie dough mix here, but I wanted to have a little backup in case we didn't have enough. So I went ahead and got that as well. I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. That's gonna go in the lasagna soup recipe. Salsa con queso. I don't know, we just like to keep this on hand for snacking and stuff like that. Oh, hello, we still got more decorating stuff. What am I doing? And then <laughs> we've got these um, sprinkles here. This is a Christmas tree sprinkle mix with a little Christmas tree on top. I thought that was really cute. And then we've got just a little sanding, um, dusting sand, whatever you call it, sprinkle mix. It's called a sprinkle mix in red and green. I picked up some more of this Black Rifle Coffee Company coffee because I found a recipe that is a um, dupe for the toasted white mocha at Starbucks right now. Jeff is like obsessed. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to make it here at home. So I got a couple ingredients. I'll show y'all that in just a minute. We got some sour cream. I didn't have any more of that here. I needed some Parmesan cheese for the lasagna soup as well as ricotta cheese for that as well. Needed, I needed some kind of, they were like little tiny baby miniature lasagna noodles, but they didn't have those at my Walmart. I can't remember what they're called right now, but they're a funny name. So I'll just break up these big lasagna noodles. No big deal. And then we got some mashed potatoes back there for a side for one night. We've got cinnamon rolls here. I think I'm pretty sure I ordered more than one, but oh well, we got, just got one. They, they say y'all just need one. Okay, y'all just need one. And then, okay, these are the ingredients that I picked up for this uh, toasted white mocha. Um, maybe I'll make one and see how it turns out. And if I if I do, it'll be at the end of this video. If I <laughs> if I decide to do that, I've got to go pick the kids up here, so it's probably gonna be a little bit. But anyways, we got. <laughs> Some classic white Ghirardelli um, white chocolate chips that goes in there. And then some white chocolate flavored syrup. I've got some Stoke Cold Brew back here and some Dunkin' Extra Extra. And then I needed some more of the oat milk to go in my coffee as well. Did I mention these? I don't remember. I don't think I mentioned these, but um, I picked these up as well. It's kind of something different to throw in Hayden's lunchbox. We, I don't know. We hadn't done yogurt in a while, so... You know, like to mix it up. Got some more bacon. We've got this uh, cheese head variety. <laughs> it's uh, string swirls and Colby Jack. I'm not sure what all's in there. I guess Swiss cheese and Colby Jack cheese and regular cheese, maybe. Anyway, figured the kids would like that. We've got some more of my favorite French fries here. We go through these pretty quick. I mean, we just throw a little bit of them in the air fryer at a time, and they're just so good. The kiddos love these for breakfast, so I went and picked up some more of these, but while I was snooping around on the uh, the app, I saw these, and I said, Hayden, I said, what do you think about French toast and sausage on a stick? And he said, hmm, sounds pretty good. So I was like, well, we'll try them. We'll see. We'll see what we think. My kids, my, that oldest one, he, he pretty much likes everything. He's not too picky. Uh, we got Mountain Dew Code Red here, which they said was unavailable, but I see that I got it anyway. Hallelujah. And <laughs> I got some Gatorades to throw in Hayden's lunchbox. And then let's see, got a couple, we got some non-food stuff here. I got some of these back, uh, these bleach tablets to throw in our toilet to kind of help, you know, the truck stop situation back there smell a little better. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it's like every day. When you have boys, you just gotta, you gotta get back there every day. You gotta get back there every day and, you know, clean all around. Got some more bleach, mainly for laundry and other cleaning things. Um, a toilet bowl cleaner with bleach. I use this in my um, shower on my tiles and like the grout and stuff to get, you know, sometimes it's like the mold and stuff. Just, just, it just don't stop. It just don't stop. And especially our house is older, so we really need to redo our bathroom. But anyway, whatever. I bought this to clean my shower, not the toilet. Okay. That's all y'all need to know. <laughs> I got some downy light in the ocean mist. This is the biggest doggone bottle of this I've ever seen. I think it was like 16 bucks, but it's worth it to me. It smells so good. Need some more toilet bowl cleaner. This is what I use in our toilet as well as pine saw. This just makes the bathroom smell so nice. And then on Jeff's, <laughs> yeah, my husband, oh my God. I don't know if you know, my husband's a plumber and um, his idea for this parade that we're having is he's going to be pulling a trailer behind his van that has a toilet on it. And we've got, my brother is, 
<laughs> going to be dressed up as Santa Claus, and he's going to be dressed up as the Grinch. And my brother, the Santa Claus, is going to be sitting on the toilet on the trailer. So he's like, he wants him to have his like Santa Claus pants pulled down, but he's going to have these under it. So, you know, he's not going to sit there with his pants down. Does that make sense? <sighs> Y'all, my husband, Lord have mercy, help us. He wanted a trapper keeper to keep some of his business stuff in. <laughs> whatever nostalgia okay and then this was on um a reward for this week i think i got like three dollars back because y'all know normally i'll get the great value laundry detergent but this was on uh like a reward for three dollars back so i was like hey we'll take the we'll take game ain't no big deal ain't no big deal and then i signed up for hey uh, harrison's um christmas party at his school to bring napkins and plates and i thought this was cute i've never heard of this brand um it's packed party whatever life's a party when you make it one okay i can hardly read that <laughs> i'm getting old but anyway uh yeah so i picked these up for his little party we've got a couple of diet pepsis actually i bought one of these um like one day this past week and it's been in the back of my car <laughs> oops so we're good on diet pepsi forgot about it and then we got some paper towels and then over here i've got some tinsel garland to decorate that trailer for the parade we've got white and gold okay now really quick i wanted to share with you guys some christmas cards that i got in my p.o box this last week this first one came all the way from Belgium, Belgium. And this lady is so special to me. She's been around for a long time. I mean, I already know who it's from without even, yeah. So, Hilda. Okay, now this is <laughs> not in my language. <laughs> um, I'm assuming it says happy holidays. Correct me if I'm wrong. But is that not a beautiful card? That's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I love that. And she's got a lovely personal message in here to me. I love that. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. So, so much. Hugs, my friend. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. And please, you know what? I could probably Google it since I feel like... I'm living like in my teen years now when we didn't have Google. Okay, this next one came from West Virginia from my friend Terry. Terry, I finally got your card. She's asked me a couple of times if I've gotten by and gotten the card. So I got it, sister. I've got it. It's in my hands right now. Isn't that pretty? It says Merry Christmas. Love it. Oh, thank you so much, Terry. I really appreciate that. And I'm just I'm just going to read their messages to myself because, I don't know, I kind of feel like they're personal messages to me. So, <laughs> I hope y'all don't mind, but I did want to share, share with y'all what the cards actually look like. So, okay, this next card came from Mississippi from my friend Emily. It says, the Lord will bless his people with peace, Psalm 29, 11. Love that. Thank you so much, Emily. And the... The message is, may your home be warm by the love of the Savior, your hearts wrapped in his peace, and your new year filled with his over, overflowing joy. Thank you so much, Emily and her family. We appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you. What a beautiful card that is. Next, we've got one from North Carolina. Woo woo, North Carolina. Wise men still seek him. That's beautiful. I love that. Oh, Elizabeth. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Elizabeth. Oh, I love it. The message may his love shine brightly on you and yours this holiday season. I love it. Thank you, Elizabeth. That was so thoughtful of you. I appreciate that. And the next one is from Janet in Rhode Island. Look at this card. I love it. It's shimmery. Oh, I love it. Sparkles. Anything sparkles and shimmery. It says, hope your holidays are every kind of happy. Love you, my friend, Janet. Thank you, Janet. I love it. It is so good to see a card from you. You're so sweet. I see you all the time in my comments, my friend. I love talking to you. 
And then this next one is from West Virginia. Season, oh my God, season's greetings. I absolutely love that. <laughs> Look at that little doggy. Woof, woof. Love it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show these to the kids. Many warm wishes for every good thing this wonderful season could possibly bring. Tracy, thank you so much, Tracy, you're awesome. Hugs to you, thank you, thank you. I got one here from California, from Miss Denise. Thank you, Denise. Ooh, I love that. Oh, that's Mary Engelbright. I've seen her stuff. Love it. Very nice. Not only at Christmas, but all through, all year through, if I can read, <laughs> joy that you give others is a joy that comes back to you. Oh, Denise, thank you so much. Y'all bring me so much joy. I promise you that. I don't know what I do without my friends here. All right, the last one I got here is from Michigan. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. I love it, beautiful. Love it, it's from the Fritzlers. Thank y'all so much. Sending a special wish for a wonderful Christmas season. Thank y'all so, so much, I really appreciate it. I'm just, my heart is so warm right now. Y'all just don't even know, this is just your thoughtfulness. Thank y'all, thank y'all so much. I wish I could hug each and every one of y'all. I just appreciate you thinking of me during this time. It's, I mean, you know, we're some of us miles and miles apart and you still thought to send me a Christmas card. So thank you. I really appreciate that. And I'm going to let the kids, whenever they get home from school, help me hang these up. Anyway, yeah. So we're going to go and get these kiddos now. Okay, welcome to Redneck Barista class. I'm just kidding. I'm going to try to make this um, toasted white chocolate mocha that Starbucks has right now. So I have just brewed some coffee. This is the, what I just got in my grocery order, just black, Black Rifle Company. And I've brewed one and a half tablespoons of coffee grounds and about like a cup and a half of water. That Actually the recipe calls for espresso, but I didn't have espresso nor do I have the way to make it here. So <laughs> we're doing what we can. I've got two tablespoons of white chocolate chips here and I'm going to melt those in my microwave real quick. Okay, my white chocolate chips are melted. Now I'm going to add in two teaspoons of caramel sauce. I happen to have the sea salt caramel so I'm going to put that right in here. These Ghirardelli ones never come out really well. So that looks like about two teaspoons. I have steamed and frothed um, just regular whole milk here. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of that in here. And now we're gonna whisk this somehow. Good old arm pair. All right, so now we have made the white chocolate sauce here. And that is going in the bottom of our mug, obviously, it's already in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our coffee. There it is, there it is, there she is. And then it says to pour the steamed milk on top of that. Yes, ma'am, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, look at that. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to top with whipped cream and then garnish with white chocolate sauce sugar sprinkles and shaved white chocolate. I've got this a maple vanilla whipped topping from Aldi. Always a winner. And Torani, a white chocolate sauce. White chocolate shavings. <laughs> Who are we? There we go. Yeah, let's give it just a little sugar. sugar. As if there's not enough sugar in here. Get a little red and a little green. <laughs> there you have it, a toasted a white mocha. Cheers. All right, I'm gonna try it for y'all. 
for myself. See how it is. Don't judge me. I know. I use the straw to drink my coffee. Yes, I do. So, this is good. You guys, it tastes just like the toasted wet. I swear it does. I'm not lying. I wouldn't lie to you. Wait till Jeff gets home. Uh -huh. Y'all. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to make Jeff one of these. This is good. Mm. Oh my God. I can't believe how good this is. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. I can't believe I just turned into a barista in five minutes. Barista. 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 I will link this recipe down in my description box below. Very delicious. All right, guys. I just want to say thank you so much for being here. Thanks for always being here and supporting my channel. I appreciate you more than you know. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I hope you get to spend lots of wonderful time with your families. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.